Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you a very beautiful evening eyeshadow palette and this is the new Tom Ford eyeshadow palette, Badass. Um, I love the eyeshadow palette and this is not a first impression review. I had a couple of days to play with this eyeshadow palette and to play with the colors. I really like it. Today I'm going to show you swatches. I'm going to create a very quick evening look using this eyeshadow palette and I'm going to give you my full review and my thoughts on the eyeshadow palette because as I said I had some time to play with the eyeshadow palette and I really like it so far. So let's go ahead and get started but before that please don't forget at the end of this video to hit that subscribe button because I have a lot of interesting videos coming your way and please turn the notification bell on so that you can receive a notification every time when I upload a new video and let's get started. Now we are going to see close-ups of the eyeshadow quad in natural light. I don't have my lights on because I want you to be able to fully appreciate the colors and then I'm going to show you also swatches and I was able to get some sunshine so you're going to see also swatches in sunshine and in natural light. So this eyeshadow quad is part of the extreme line from Tom Ford and it comes in a signature silver packaging. This limited edition collection consists of this eyeshadow quad and there is also an extreme lid lacquer which retails for 36 US dollars but I was not tempted to get this one because I was really not sure that I was going to use it but I am in love with this beautiful eyeshadow palette. I think it's the perfect evening and holiday eyeshadow palette because the colors are beautiful and the quality of the eyeshadows is very very good it's excellent quality so now you can see how the quad looks when the weather is cloudy all colors are very creamy and very easy to blend the only color that is a little bit more shimmery is the bottom left color but it's absolutely beautiful it's the kind of shimmer that i love wearing so now you can see swatches and this is again natural light but it's the sun is shining. I just wanted you to see how shiny the eyeshadows are and the colors are. And they reflect the light in a very beautiful way. And I think that makes it a perfect evening eyeshadow palette. Now you can see the swatches in natural light, no filters and no additional lighting. I usually don't like dark eyeshadows, but I think this is the perfect evening eyeshadow quad. I love these colors. So let's go ahead and get started with this gorgeous eyeshadow palette. And I've already done my base. All of the products that I used are going to be in the description box. I see that a lot of you are asking me if I use primer and what kind of a primer I recommend. I don't use primers. I am not a huge fan of primers to be honest. I rarely use primers and usually all of the products that I use on my face are in the description box including the moisturizer that I use because a lot of people keep asking me about my skincare, about my moisturizers and I usually post also in the description box the moisturizer that I'm using um, on my face. So Right now I am with my winter skin tone, so I'm quite pale and it's it's quite realistic. I'm really, really pale, unfortunately, but that's my skin tone. So we are starting with this gorgeous eyeshadow palette. So I don't have blusher or contour, so I'm going to fix that later in the video. So the first color that I'm going to be using is this one right here. And I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. This is a crease brush, a blending brush. This is from Chanel. And I like this brush. And I'm going to start applying this color in my crease just roughly. Actually, I'm going to change and use a smaller brush. So let me use my favorite Urban Decay brush. This is from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite brushes. I have so many eyeshadow brushes, but I always end up using this one for some reason. So I'm just going to very lightly dust this purplish color 
in my crease, back and forth, and also on my mobile eyelid. I just want to have a wash of color, not too much color, but just a wash of color. I'm going to keep the inner corners of my eyes clean. And then I'm going to be taking the Chanel blending brush and I'm going to blend it. So of course I'm editing the most part of the blending, but here when you work with dark eyeshadows, you have to do a lot of blending. It's not as easy as you are watching this video for 10 minutes or so. This look actually takes me a lot more because it takes a lot of blending and that's why I actually prefer to keep my eye looks very simple because I don't like to spend a lot of time doing my makeup. But this time I really like this eyeshadow palette. So Next, using a flat brush, I'm going to take again this color and I'm just going to apply it. I'm going to intensify the color on my mobile eyelid only on my mobile eyelid. Okay, so this is how it looks so far. And now I'm going to take, again, same color on my lower lash line. Now I'm taking this color here and I'm going to take it with my fingertip, just like that. And I'm going to pat the color on my mobile eyelid. So this is how it looks so far. Now I'm taking a different brush, short bristles, and I'm going to take the pale shade right here. And I'm going to apply this pale shade in the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm just going to apply this color generously in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to drag the color a little bit further so that it can blend. Now I'm going to take an eyeliner brush and the darkest color in the eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to apply this color right very close to the lash line in the outer part of my eye. And you can intensify the color as much as you want. So here you just have to make it work for yourself. Now again, I'm going to be taking a blending brush and blend everything just a little bit more. And this is all up to you. Maybe you will not need that additional blending. Maybe you will need a little bit more blending. When you're doing an evening look, you might need a little bit more blending. And I'm seeing myself right now in the viewfinder of the camera and I can tell that it doesn't look as good as in real life because I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now and this look is absolutely fabulous. Okay, so this is with the mascara on and for lipstick I'm going to be using my favorite lipstick and this is going to be an all-time favorite lipstick and this is from House of Sillage. If you're following my channel you already know how much I love this lipstick and the quality of these lipsticks is mind-blowing. These have been my favorite lipsticks for quite a while now and I'm not showing them in my monthly favorites video, probably I should show them in my monthly favorites video, but actually this is an all-time favorite. And the formulation of the lipstick is absolutely exceptional. The third ingredient is castor oil. I have a blog post about this lipstick. And the color that I'm going to be using today is the most beautiful red color ever, and this is King. I'm going to show you how it looks on my lips right now, but every time when I want to feel special, every time when I want to have that glamorous look, I'm wearing this color. So this is King. And I would say that this is the most fascinating red carpet red color. Okay, so this is the finished look. And I really love this eyeshadow palette. I think this is a very exceptional creation. I usually, I am a person who doesn't enjoy dark eyeshadows that much because as you can see, my skin is quite pale and this is my winter color and I'm going to be that pale until the summer. So usually what I've noticed is that for very very pale skin 
tones like mine, it's quite hard to wear dark eyeshadows or usually it takes a lot of work, a lot of blending to make them work. But actually this eyeshadow palette is quite exceptional and what I what makes it so exceptional is that I think this is going to work on so many skin tones. And a lot of times I cannot use dark eyeshadows. I, I end up looking like panda. I It just doesn't look natural on me. It doesn't look beautiful on me. But this, this is different and the colors blend absolutely effortlessly. And I think that you can use this eyeshadow palette even if you are a beginner because I don't like to spend a lot of time doing my makeup and I still love this eyeshadow palette. If you're someone who is looking for the perfect evening eyeshadow palette, I can absolutely recommend this palette. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I think that this is a palette that is suitable for evening looks and for holiday looks. I don't think that this is the perfect eyeshadow palette for everyday looks. So it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for an exceptional eyeshadow palette for exceptional makeup for evening looks, I would 100% recommend this one. But if you're a person who is only going to use it here and there, I'm not sure that it's worth the investment because Tom Ford eyeshadows are very, very high quality, but also they come quite pricey. The price of one eyeshadow quad is 88 US dollars, which is quite an investment for an eyeshadow palette. And that's why I would say if you are looking for something really beautiful for the holiday season, go for it. I absolutely adore it. And this is actually going to be my choice for the holiday season. I think I'm going to be wearing only this one in the evenings for evening looks for the holiday season. I think that the colors are quite exceptional and the shimmer in this color, in this color, the shimmers are very sophisticated, very elegant. I think this is the perfect evening slash holiday eyeshadow palette. So I'm extremely happy that I finally found a dark eyeshadow palette that I like. So usually I don't like dark eyeshadows and they don't work on me. This one works like a dream. This one looks so beautiful and you can play with the colors a lot. You can layer the colors and you can create a lot of different looks. Now, So I think that was all for today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you can receive a notification every time when I upload a new video. And please don't forget to leave me a comment. One last thing, I would like to say welcome to everyone who is newly subscribed to my channel because I saw that a lot of people have subscribed recently and a huge thank you to each and every one of you who has subscribed to my channel and also a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who has been with me from the very beginning and a huge thank you to everyone who is a regular on this channel. I really appreciate that help and support and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!